You see, when you are inside this vortex, and do you get the sense of what we mean by that? When yeah. you are absent of resistance, when your heart is singing, when you are feeling wonderful, when you are inside the vortex, and you are speaking of things desired, every word you speak causes you to practice from inside the vortex the energy of aligning with who you really are. That's the value of an affirmation. So if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would do anything and everything that we could do to get into the vortex. If it means petting your cat, if it means putting your feet in the water, if it means taking a jacuzzi, if, if it means having a massage, if it means watching a movie that makes you feel happy or listening to music that usually makes you feel good, you stumble, you do, you stumble into the vortex all day, every day for a little bit. Every one of you gets close or into the vortex every day. And what we're suggesting is once you realize you're in there, affirm your little hearts out. In other words, once you realize you're in there, speak. When you find yourself having an in the vortex moment, stop and savor it and contemplate. Why does this moment feel so wonderful? As you take a moment here and there and here and there and here and there to savor the deliciousness of these good feeling moments, that is the most significant affirming that you could ever do. I affirm your saying to the universe that this is who I am. I affirm to the universe that this is how I am meant to feel. I affirm to all that is that this is my legacy, that this is my worthiness, that this is my rightness, that this is who I am. I am prosperous and well-being. I am thriving. I am balanced. I am intelligent. I feel good in my body. I am loving my life. I affirm this. And I affirm it now, you see. Continue to try to define, why does this feel so good? Why does this feel so good? And as you begin one who is looking for positive aspects, no matter where you are, in other words, you, as you look for positive aspects, no matter where you are, before you know it, you're hanging around regularly in hope and often inside the vortex. And as you're in there and affirming from in there, the affirmation causes you to practice the vibration of inside the vortex until you make it your natural state of being. You want to hope until the vortex takes you in and makes a believer out of you. And once the vortex takes you in and makes a believer out of you, if you hang around longer, then you'll know. And once you're in the place of knowing, what you want cannot be denied. Play it out in your mind a little bit. Imagine it a little longer. Try to get into the vortex relative to other subjects and then milk it a little longer. We'd get into the vortex on one of those subjects that you say there are so many things going well in your life. So we'd get into the vortex and then we'd milk being there. And then you'll find yourself feeling good, an idea will come, you'll feel the impulse to respond to it, you'll realize that the impulse came and you didn't get thrown out of the vortex, and the idea will get stronger and feel stronger until you'll feel compelled to offer that action. It won't be action trying to compensate for misalignment, it will be action inspired from alignment. And we promise you, you will know the difference. In other words, when you have that sort of knowing, no one can talk you out of it. And until you have that kind of knowing, don't mess with it. Until you know it so strong that nothing could keep you from it, don't take the action. When you use the leverage of the vortex, you trim years of sifting and struggle and false alarms and wild goose chases. You trim it all off because you get right to what counts and then the universe says here, 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 until finally you say, all right already, all right already. Let me just enjoy this for a while. It's coming pretty fast. You want to be in the vortex. You want to be an extension of source. That's who you are. And anything less than that is just not enough. And it will always feel off to you, you see. So this is our case for getting into the vortex. It's like get in the vortex and do anything else you have time for. Get in the vortex and do anything else you have time for. Life will just put you in every now and again. Just recognize that's really the message of how to get in. Just be aware you'll show up in there sooner or later. Just be aware and catch yourself in there. Catch yourself in there and say, I'm in the vortex, I'm in the vortex, I'm in the vortex, I'm in the vortex. I'm in the vortex.
I'm in the vortex. I can feel that I'm in the vortex. I'm in the vortex. I don't know how I got here. I don't know how long I'll stay. But I'm in the vortex, and I really like being in the vortex. And being in the vortex feels good. It feels good to be in the vortex. I feel good being in the vortex, which means in the vortex is easy to appreciate. In the vortex is easy to praise. Can you appreciate your way into the vortex? Yes, you can if you're not far out. Get in and milk it, or work your way in and milk it. But most of all, be aware of when you're in. How do you know you? Oh, you're so funny when you're in. You say just exactly the right thing at just exactly the right time. When you're in the vortex, people love being with you. When you're in the vortex, they seek you out. They want to play with you. They want to hear what you have to say. When you're in the vortex, you're popular. When you're in the vortex, law of attraction, get it? Law of attraction, get it? Law of attraction. Cooperative component. All of the best and the brightest of your world on the subjects that matter to you come to you when you're in the vortex. It is so worth making a career out of being in the vortex. What do you do for a living? I go to the vortex. When do you? When do you? When do you? When I'm in the vortex. Anything that matters to me. I go to the vortex and then I contemplate it. I go to the vortex and then I contemplate it. What's this vortex thing? Why is the vortex important to you? Because when I tune myself to the frequency of who I really am, I have the energy that's creating worlds flowing through me. And I'm majorly productive. I'm majorly efficient. But most of all, I'm majorly there's power in the vortex. It's worth studying. It's worth understanding. It's worth contemplating. It's worth feeling for. It's worth recognizing. It's worth being glad when you're in. It's worth being glad when you're aware that you're not in. In other words, it's really, really worth making a career out of your understanding of the vortex. So your question is, I don't know when I should take action. And we say, only when you can't stop yourself. Only when. The vortex is so compelling that it just insists that you do that. Vortex. When you're in the vortex, the cooperative components surround you and your inspiration to participate with them just bubbles up with you. And you begin to feel invincible. You begin to know that there is nothing that you cannot be or you have. You begin to feel the true power of your being. 